So there are quite a lot of videos available on YouTube regarding this Raspberry Pi Pico board, like how to get started with it. But what I did is I tried to cover a different perspective of this board, like why the hell this board exists in the market and do you really need to buy this? Now that should be the question you should ask before making the purchase of this board. So watch this video till the end and you'll got you will come to know like, did you really need to buy this particular Pico board or not? And you'll get a different perspective about this Pico board by watching this video. So watch it till the end and let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, if I tell you one very interesting feature of the software, then here in LTM designer, you can design rigid flex PCB. Now, what is that? So till now you must have designed the PCB, which has like rigid, like solid PCBs that we are not able to bend. But here in LTM, you can design a PCB in which some of the parts are rigid solid and some of the parts are flexible, which can bend and the PCB can, you know, uh, we can bend it in a twofold manner, just like the modern day smartphone, right? So this is a really very interesting, useful and unique feature of the software. Well, you can also try out this and many other unique and interesting features of this designer software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on the link, you'll get access to the free trial version of this software. So go ahead, try out the free trial version of LTM designer software. So Pico launched in early 2021 and this is the first time Raspberry Pi tried to make their own controller chip and controller board and as this was their first time, uh, maybe because of it they forget to add the reset button on the board. What? Yes man, there is no reset button on this board and not only that, the official website of Raspberry Pi guides you on how to make the reset button for this board on breadboard man. Seriously, no reset button? Huh? Okay, so coming back to configuration part, no doubt this board has a superb configuration. Well, just kidding, not at all superb. In the similar price range or like lump sum price range, you can get a ESP32 board which has much better RAM, much better flash uh, memory, and it also has a reset button on the board. And along with that, that ESP32 board has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and this board don't have Wi-Fi Bluetooth built-in as well. Even ESP32 board has a much better clock speed than this particular board faster, better, more size, more connectivity option with just a little price increase. So here's my take on it. If I have assumed to launch a development board of my own in 2021, I would definitely have added Wi-Fi in that board, at least Wi-Fi in that board because this is the IoT era guys, along with the speed and space and performance, we guys also need the power to share our data wirelessly to other cloud, to other third party platforms. Why Raspberry Pi? Let's assume that this board is not made for IoT. Let's just assume it. Then the one board which I will put in competition to this board will be Arduino Nano. Well, I know it's a very weak competitor. Rather, STM32 will be a better competitor with the Pico board. But as I haven't used that STM32 and as Sir Andrews already made a video on it, so you better watch out that video to sh uh, see the, con uh, what you can say, comparison of STM32 versus the Pico board. But I will stick to the Arduino Nano. Of course, Arduino Nano is a very weak competitor, less RAM, less memory size, but still Arduino Nano wins at one position, which is Arduino Nano has built-in EEP ROM. Raspberry Pi Pico don't even have the EEP ROM built-in. And seriously? And one more thing, Arduino Nano was released back in 2008 and while Pico is made and launched in 2021, so we can regard it as the Pico is a 2021 version of Arduino Nano. But wait, this Pico doesn't even support the Arduino IDE, which is the most easy to use programming platform for the makers out there. But don't worry, I think Arduino like just read my mind or read our mind, we can say. Arduino has announced officially that he will be making his own Arduino Nano RP2040. That means the Arduino board based on the RP2040 microcontroller board and that will support Arduino IDE as well. That, that's the great news. So we'll be getting a new Arduino Nano soon. But it doesn't mean this is bad at every parameters. It has some good features as well. Let me go through that. It is, first of all, has a built-in temperature sensor. Second thing, it has a very low power consumption. Like uh, when we run the Blink LED example code, it will consume only 18 milliamperes of current, which is dope. And one more thing, you can run this board by supplying the voltage as low as 1.8 volt 
thanks to its built-in bug boost converter IC. One more appreciable thing done by Team Raspberry Pi is its documentation. This Raspberry Pi Pico documentation is really very superb. I mean, just looking at those animated images, you can get started with this board. You don't need to watch any YouTube video for that. Just watch that animated images and they are superbly made and you can easily get started by just looking at the documentation. So clap for that superb documentation Raspberry Pi. So that was all the good and bad which I think about this Raspberry Pi Pico board and that was all my take, that's all my observation, that's all my experience which I shared with you. Do let me know your experience in the comments of the video and we are left with the question that we ask at the very beginning. Do you really need to buy this board or not? And well, my answer is no for now. Better you should wait for the Arduino Nano RP2040. Maybe Arduino comes up with a very, like, maybe some good feature, of course, with the reset button, I guess. Okay, so you should wait for Arduino Nano RP2040 rather than buying this Pico board. So that's my, you can say, conclusion about this video. That being said, hit the thumbs up if you agree with all the points which I discussed. And if you don't agree, just comment down below, like, what points you didn't agree about. That being said, ending this video here and now, just wait for my next video. Then explore, learn, share with me, like ESMS.